Good afternoon guys! Welcome back to Maverick Baking and welcome back to yet another food review. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe because we're doing stuff like this more often than I should. So just what are we reviewing today? We are reviewing, of course, the much revered and long-awaited Maltesers Truffles. So Maltesers have been churning out some fantastic looking new products recently. And um, if you haven't already watched my review of their Maltesers buttons, go and check that out. I'll link up somewhere up here. So they've recently released these Maltesers truffles. Now, I am admittedly slightly less excited about these than I was about the buttons because I honestly don't think these are going to be that much different to the little kind of teaser chocolates you can get already. If you've never had Maltesers, or if you're from outside of the UK, Maltesers are basically very similar to the American Whoppers, only better. They are essentially just crunchy malt balls with a chocolate coating. They're great, they've been around for decades, everyone loves them, except maybe celiacs. So on the bottom, it says that these are milk chocolates with a malt filling, a chocolate filling, and honeycombed pieces. Never just honeycomb with Maltesers, it's always honeycombed. And on the side, it says, first a little rustle, then it's all about the truffle. I picked these up in Sainsbury's. They were £3.50, which is a bit of a premium price if you ask me, if we're just talking about a Maltesers product, but let's taste them and see if the price is worth it. So this box also came in two sizes. There was this kind of big sharing or gift size and there was just a small box as well for, you know, Mondays. Opening up, you might be able to see we've got a whole host of little individually wrapped truffly, truffle things in there. So this is roughly the size that they are, wrapped up in this nice kind of crunchy red foil. They even say, dressed to impress. Can't say the same about myself. So inside we have this cute little kind of textured chocolate bonbon type thing. You might be able to see all the different little layers there. Now these might not be at optimum temperature, it is very warm even in Scotland today. So this might be a bit softer than intended, but let's just bite straight in and see what we've got here. We have a thick, very generous chocolate layer around the outside with a chocolate filling in the bottom that has some malt pieces, though very few, I must say. And that sort of lighter colored bit at the top is the creamy malt filling. Flavors are great, but the whole thing is very soft. I'm gonna eat one in one bite to see what the texture's like. It might just be because I had it in two. I'm gonna go out there and be controversial and say that I'm not actually a huge fan of these. They look kind of similar to this diagram, except with a lot less of the kind of crunchy pieces going on. And honestly, even though, like I said, it is quite warm here and the outer shell is, you know, it obviously melts quicker than it would if we were in colder temperatures just now. The chocolate filling is fine. It's just like your usual kind of thick, creamy truffle filling. Like it said, there's only something like 3.4% of those little crunchy pieces in it, which are actually the basis of a Malteser. And it just kind of makes the whole thing very soft and almost kind of claggy, you know, when you put it into your mouth. If you were to take a teaspoon of Nutella or a teaspoon of peanut butter, it tastes good, obviously, but it's very sweet and just kind of coats everything in your mouth. I feel like they're not as good as the individual Teaser's chocolates that we can already get. You know, the Teaser's chocolates have the milk chocolate shell on the outside and they have that kind of creamy, slightly softer milk chocolate filling, but they have the crunchy bits to kind of punctuate it and give it some texture. These just feel almost like the Malteser part was an afterthought. They're certainly not bad. Like I said, you know, it does taste like a Malteser's type product, but it's definitely not the best thing they've put out. So that sounded pretty scathing actually. Um, but yeah, I've, I've got to be honest with you guys, as much as I was completely on board the hype for the Maltesers buttons, which are just delicious, they have the perfect balance of chocolate and crunchy stuff in my opinion, these ones just feel 
unnecessary. I'd much, be much happier just with a bag of normal Maltesers, the Maltesers buttons, or even just a bar of the teaser stuff. I'm gonna give these Maltesers truffles a three out of five. If you're a Maltesers lover, let me know in the comments if you have tried these and if you think I'm being too harsh or if you think I'm being too generous and this is just another kind of boring product we didn't really need. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. Quick shout out to my Patreon supporters Enrico, Nate and Paul for helping me film reviews like this. If you would also like to help support this little channel of mine, there is a link to my Patreon page in the description box below. In the meantime, that's all I have for you today, guys. So thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you very soon.